Hello friends, this is Suresh, SME in Automotive Dye Engineering. How are you friends? Okay, we will continue on dye manufacturing process through IPO model which I shared in the last module. Let's have a quick recap on the IPO model. So IPO is nothing but input process output. Input, there are three inputs I considered, one is dye design and detailed manufacturing drawings number two manufacturing planning number three bill of material then in the process machining process finishing process assembly and tryout process then the output comes as a sampling and inspection so today's topic is 2.1 die design and detailed manufacturing drawing there are two categories one is 2d drawing and second is 3D drawing. Why we need the uh, die drawings in 2D and 3D and uh, what are the requirements for make repairing this. As you know without a die drawing we cannot make the complete die set with the expected quality. So 2D and 3D drawing includes number one manufacturing process flow chart. Everyone might aware about the flow chart. Flow chart uh, purpose is to give the high level process steps of any manufacturing process number two process details process details are nothing but what are the process involved in manufacturing the component they are nothing but blanking draw trim pierce flange process etc number five detailed child part details we need to cover each and every child parts for manufacturing them to get the die assembly every part detail required for manufacturing whether it is a small part or a bigger part without drawing we cannot make to get the accuracy level number seven detailed machining drawings so each and every die undergo multiple process of die machining so there are few important uh, drawings we need to make for a, spe a specific machining process so that easy for uh, machining the blocks with the specified machine number eight detailed hole charts for drilling and tapping if you see for making the even simple die requires minimum 100 holes with the 70 to 80 percent of tapping holes for assembly so you can understand for the importance of dedicated drives for drilling and tapping and making the each and every hole uh, we will uh, see in the upcoming slides how the coordinates given and number nine Fastener details. As I said, 70 to 80 percent uh, cap holes in the die manufacturing. So there we need to use a different type of uh, fasteners, uh, standard, and some of them are manufactured. Uh, so that details also each and every uh, small small details uh, also we need to give in the die manufacturing drawing. And number ten, raw material details. Many types of material used in die manufacturing with respect to fit and function. So hence uh, each drawing should have what is the raw material and what size we need to cut and what size we need to size it in the rough machining then heat treatment detail few uh, elements of die parts required heat treatment to achieve a hardness to form or a trim or a piercing so drawing should specify the method of heat treatment like through hardening or case hardening so that the right function the right process followed to make the heat treatment number 12 machining process so drying should also cover uh, lathe uh, uh, milling uh, mtr surface grinding so these processes are uh, also important to capture in the machining process drawings then clearance details clearance details are important for uh, uh, fits and uh, uh, mating parts so every dim dimension should have uh, the clearance details if we don't have a specific uh, clearance detail then we can use the standard uh, template to uh, identify the clearance then then the standard details so standards uh, details cover the um, tolerancing uh, the standard parts uh, usage in the dies like uh, cams, springs, uh, any other standard parts. 
and the 15th is 3D models required for various machining uh, process as well as inspection and analysis. Then the last thing is every drawing should have a document control status so that we can refer the drawing and uh, what is the uh, level of uh, drawing and if there is any revision we are doing so that also we need to keep updating so that we can use the latest uh, drawing for the manufacturing and maintaining the dice and document authorization so who has prepared uh, uh, who has reviewed who has authorized these details also important as part of document uh, authorization before it goes for uh, die manufacturing then the last thing is uh, document ownership status so who is the custodian of the uh, uh, die drawings and um, who who is going to be the owner for the uh, uh, die drawings like it may be proprietor or it may be the design department so these are the 2d and uh, 3d drawings uh, uh, requirement i have captured uh, then next uh, let's see uh, one by one about this uh, details manufacturing process flow chart and process details here i am showing a simple flow chart for me manufacturing the body side outer uh, starts with op10 blanking and some company called op05 uh, for blanking and op20 drying op30 trimming and piercing op40 trimming and restrike op50 flanging wiping piercing op60 trimming piercing op70 flanging and trimming so this high level uh, seven stages are called as flow chart to get the blank stage to finish part and you can see the process detail uh, blank here the outline is the blank shape and uh, the draw shell is given in op20 op30 you can see the trimming which are the portions are uh, trimming in the op30 and then op40 the green colors are trimmed in the op40 then op50 you can see uh, there are few trims and there is a flange happening here and op60 you can see the restrike and uh, trimming uh, cam piercing operations and op70 finish panel so this is the uh, sample for process flow chart and process details next we can see detail assembly drawing uh, any uh, die drawing should have the uh, one complete page which is having the uh, die assembly condition view and then from there we pick up uh, uh, the parts like a human body uh, the way we show eyes and ear likewise we need to show in one complete assembly drawing are the uh, important uh, segments and few of the cut section views and other details to give the complete uh, uh, picture of the die and then child part details as i explained uh, each and every part we need to capture uh, in the 2d drawing and this is a, a back, backup plate and this is a, a support insert for the Pro, uh, progressive die uh, which I will show you in the coming slides and this is a lifter pin to feed the strip uh, and this is a rail lifter to get the uh, uh, strip feeding and uh, this is the key for assembly of the plates and uh, this is the guide rail for uh, guiding the strip and whole charts and tapping details which i explained in the previous slide here i will show you the example uh, this is the slide driver and you can see uh, in the small block uh, there are eight holes are there and uh, they are in different different uh, uh, circle design and uh, we need to capture all this drawing with the uh, uh, dimension of x y then it becomes uh, complicated to understand for the uh, miller milling machine operator so to make them easy uh, there is a small table uh, we create that and we make the whole position only a1 a2 a3 a4 and b1 b2 c1 c2 uh, depends on the uh, whole uh, design the codification is given and then you can see as in a simple form x and y coordinates given for each hole so uh, a normal milling operator with the mntr setup he can make the drillings uh, as per the axis given easily if we don't give then the drawing may look like difficult to read and uh, there is a chance of error by the uh, milling operator 
and then you can see uh, the hole also what is the hole and what purpose and which are the holes for tapping and you can see the hole which is having a, a counter bore and the uh, cut section you can see which are having a counter bore and which are having tap design uh, so you can see that corner four holes which are a series are a counter bore for assembly and then c1 c2 is nothing but tap hole and the dimensions are in inches not in mm uh, just for the uh, reference i am showing here so you can uh, use this as a reference uh, and then third one is a kind of a, again another hole uh, with a, um, a pre hole and a secondary hole and you can see the other one uh, slide yoke and then the slide similarly uh, every uh, drawing whenever there is a more holes uh, we make the small x y axis uh, table so that the operator able to finish them quickly without error and then this is the uh, stripper plate uh, for the process and the tolerance and heat treatment you can see every drawing and every dimension if we start giving the tolerance uh, that is also difficult to read for the operator so there is a tolerance uh, table given if there is a no tolerance is given the operator can use this standard table so that he can refer the tolerance specification and then you can see uh, this punch forming uh, forming punch uh, getting a flame hardened and uh, through this uh, the surface only getting hardening and you can see the detailed process drawing for the uh, die block uh, forming uh, here there is a typical form is there and this is very small form and operator used to make uh, uh, sometime error and then we create the section uh, or the detail with the uh, uh, extended uh, form like here i am showing 5 is to 1 uh, this makes the easier for the die ma manufacturing operator to read and then to set the uh, angles and values so that the accuracy level get maintained uh, as per the die design and you can see uh, this is a die block uh, and then there is a uh, trim blade and you can see here uh, the heat treatment uh, uh, again given in the uh, trim insert there is a requirement of 59 to 69 HRG which is a through hardening and material also different uh, here to material uh, if we don't give then there is a chance of uh, making the error like a case hardening or the wrong material selection and you can see here in the form die inserts and then next uh, uh, one more detailed process drawing if you see this block shape uh, it is not uh, any uh, small shape a rectangular or a square or circular and you can see multiple um, angles have been machined uh, and then the shape is uh, uh, looks like somewhat a uh, uh, special shape so during this uh, special shape manufacturing there are more chances to make the mistake and then the mistakes causing for the scrapping of the die block so the die designer uh, during the design he has to make as many as possible cut sections to make the um, easier for the die manufacturing operator uh, it may be in the milling machine or cnc machine with the different different angles and giving the references so you can see uh, view c uh, how the block looks and then view d same block in the different view how the holes look then the next one is uh, die block uh, you can see the details and uh, trim inserts very small insert you can see this insert is being fitted at this small location but still it has given the clearly with the, all the dimension um, in detail and this is the actual size uh, but this is given in the big size for the operator next you can see uh, such a, a long big plate in the progressive die with more than 100 holes and this is the top plate uh, and you can see starting to end n number of holes with the 
uh, assembly of the play back plates assembly of the stripper plate uh, punch retainers uh, everything and in one uh, the setup uh, mostly this plate get manufactured and this is the whole uh, x y axis coordinates you can see the big list uh, i'm showing here uh, which is a uh, easier for the operator and he goes and in one setup he completes and this is the bottom plate similarly you can see there are a lot of holes cutouts slots and lot many details so uh, friends you can understand what is the drawing uh, you know importance in the 2d for the conventional machining process and coming back to the 3d as i explained 3D drawings are required for not only visualization, they are required for a special machining process and inspection and this also used for analysis of the uh, die design. And this is a simple uh, image I am showing here for fender manufacturing, LH and RH draw die and this is a cam trim die and vertical trim die. So this portion getting a trim in vertical and this portion getting in the cam trim and the cutoff die which is nothing but parting of LH and RH and we have the uh, cam operation also here and then the next is flange and forming die so the outer flange is getting a flange and there is a restrike also happening and then the cam action flanging and forming die so come uh, the flange uh, uh, joggles are getting made in the cam flange and then cam piercing the holes which are in the uh, sides you can see the cams are given and then the cams are getting um, used for piercing so let's have a quick recap friends die design and detail manufacturing drawing includes number one manufacturing process flow chart process details and drawings number two detailed assembly drawings child part details and drawings number three machining drawings with hole charts for drilling and tapping Number 4 Raw Material, Heat Treatment, Clearance and Standard Details Number 5 3D Models are required for various machining process, inspection and analysis Number 6 Document Control, Authorization and Ownership Status Thanks for watching friends, if you like the video please click the like button and don't forget to comment, please subscribe, thank you, bye bye